In this tutorial, we're going to go through the remainder function. We're going to follow the same path we did when covering the mod function. So I'm going to go ahead and say remainder open parentheses, click on the more help, and the MATLAB help information tells me that r equals the remainder of a comma b returns the remainder after division of a by b. So I'm going to divide whatever is in a by whatever is in b. Let's go ahead and start with the same numbers, 4 and 2. When I divide 4 by 2, we get 2, so there's 0 remainder. If I divide 5 by 2, there is a remainder, so we have the logical, or at least not logical, we have a, a, the number 1 is returned because there is a remainder. We can also go through, instead of mod, we're going to use remainder, negative 4 comma 2, and then 4 comma negative 2. We'll have 5 comma negative 2, and then we'll have negative 5 comma 2. Now this sequence helps us understand that if we don't have a remainder, there's no sign that's going to be associated with that remainder. But if we do have a remainder, the sign that is associated with that remainder, when we're using the remainder function, is the sign of whatever number is being divided. So here negative 5 is being divided by positive 2. That makes the remainder negative. Right before that example, we have 5 divided by negative 2. There is a remainder when you divide 5 by negative 2, but because the 5 is positive, the remainder that is returned by MATLAB is also positive. The last one I'm going to show you is when we divide 0 by 2. There is no remainder. When we divide 0 by 1, there is no remainder. Um, and again, primarily the remainder function is, is utilized to determine if a number, this first number right here, is even or odd. Uh, unlike the modulo function, the sign for the remainder follows the number being divided, not what we're dividing by. And I hope this helps you in, in determining whether or not numbers are even or odd. And thanks for watching.